how can women improve upper body strength? I find it so much harder than lower body and feel like I'm spinning my wheels. Uh, if you want to talk about it, we can. I don't know if I have enough context to give a good answer for this person. Yeah, I mean, I I just spoke about this with someone the other day. Um, oh, actually, I spoke about this with an inner circle member the other day. The reality is like, almost always, not not every single time, but almost always, women are going to have a much harder time building upper body strength than men. Like women are like, I mean, women generally are much stronger with their lower body. Uh, I mean, it's one of the reasons why, especially with things like hip thrust, we can see women hip thrusting 405 after not outrageously long doing, doing hip thrusts. Uh, they're just generally stronger with their lower body. Like, and obviously like men are, are stronger with their lower body as well, but uh, men have an easier time building upper body strength than women. It's just biologically, I think it's, it's generally easier proportions, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And that's, and that's not a, an offensive thing to say. That's just an objectively fact. true scientific biological thing to say. Yes. And, and, and no one should be offended by that fact. Yeah. It's not saying women are weak. It's just saying that it's going to be harder for you to build upper body strength, uh, almost, almost every single time. Um, it's why I think, you know, there are many men who the first time trying, they can do a chin up. And for women, it usually takes a long time. I think it's much more impressive when I see a woman doing a set of five chin ups than when I see a guy doing a set of five chin ups. Like when I see a woman doing a set of five chin ups, I'm like, you put in fucking work. Mm-hmm. Like there are some men who like a significant percentage of men, I think, who they could just walk up to a bar and do do a chin up, five chin ups without ever really having trained it before. Whereas like you don't get many women, if any, who can do a set of five chin ups who have who have not deliberately been trying to do that for probably years. So um, the reality is like the, the other aspect of this, the, and this woman said she feels like she's spinning her wheels, is it takes it's going to take an unbelievably long time and the improvements will likely be marginal at best, uh, especially on like a monthly or even every three month basis. You're probably not going to be like, Oh my God, I gained 20 pounds on, on this like upper on this row or on this press. Like it's not, it's probably going to be like a month, two months, three months go by and you put on two and a half pounds, Mm -hmm. maybe something like that. Um, And it also depends on the movement. I know a lot of people get upset when they're like, oh, I don't know why, like I've been training for years and I'm still only lateral raising like 12 and a half pounds. Like, yeah, it's the lateral raise. You're even when you're at your strongest ever is not going to be a very high amount of weight Um, versus something like a dumbbell row. You should be actively seeing more significant uh, improvements on that. But to feel like you're spinning your wheels, I think it's pretty normal. (laughs) <laughs> like, yeah. especially for a woman on an upper body lift. Yeah. It doesn't e- mean it's not working. Even because it sounds like this woman is comparing her upper body speed of progress to her lower body speed of progress mm-hmm. uh, f- for a guy, for a girl, for anybody, if you're putting the same amount of volume and intensity and effort and, and goal selection on upper body strength versus lower body strength, your lower body strength is going to progress faster. And, and even more so with women, but, but for both, like your, you can't compare, uh, your bench press speed of progress to your deadlift speed of progress, because if you're doing them both with equal intent, equal intensity and volume, and you have the same amount of experience on both, your deadlift progress is going to be faster than your bench, pre- bench press progress. And then you bring in what you just brought up, which is look at exercise selection. Like I've had people be like, yeah, I'm, I'm so weak. I can only, uh, you know, uh, chest supported dumbbell rear delt fly, 15 pound dumbbells for 15 reps. And I look at their technique and it's perfect. I'm like, you're not weak at all. Like you're, we're working a very small muscle group, like very small relative to your other muscles. And we're not using any other muscles to get the weight up. And you especially are not because you're doing it with such dialed technique. 15 pounds is awesome on this movement. We can't just, you know, and, and most listening to this know that we can't just, uh, compare like, oh, my barbell back squat, I can do so much. And my rear delt raise, like I do so little. It's like, no, those are comparing two completely different things. And it makes sense that one is, you know, a fraction of the other. <laughs>